welcome back to my channel um so today um i am going to be talking about part three of my in-depth story i am going to try and keep it very short but you guys know me i ramble um i think this is going to be the last of the part of my in-depth story because i think i've really gone over the bulk of what has happened um, and so I just think that if you guys had any questions, wanted me to go more in depth, um, about that, um, then you guys could comment down below. You guys are more than welcome to ask me questions. Um, I have not gotten any yet, so I figure you guys kind of just understand what I've been telling you. Um, so I guess I'll just dive right in. Um, I do have the main points written down so I can try and keep it short. Um, so if you guys see me looking down, that's why. Um, so this is going to be the criminal side of the story. Um, so you guys know that Jonathan and I, in November of 2017, got arrested, um, for suspected child abuse. At that time, they decided to charge us with one charge of felony corporal injury to a child. Um, it was very devastating. I had never been in trouble before, so I literally like had tears down my face for hours. Um, and so, uh, I, you guys know, we bailed me out because that's the only the amount of money that we were able to do at the time. We weren't able to bail Jonathan out. Um, I have <laughs> I have since, over the past two years, finished paying my bail. Freaking, I mean, it was like months and months and months ago, but it felt like forever paying that stuff off. Um, luckily, because I am a veteran, they knocked a thousand dollars off, um, which was awesome. So, when Jonathan had gotten let out of jail, he was out on OR or his own recognizance. Um, that was the first thing you know that we had even heard of any of the charges. Um, since we've gotten arrest since we had gotten arrested and it was about four or five days because it was a holiday weekend uh, And then we didn't go back to court until December of 2017 and It was the day after Christmas. So it was just really ridiculous But it is what it is um, And then that's when they really went in depth on everything um, I had gotten put into this law center um and had not gotten my lawyer yet so they asked for a continuance just to put it off um until i had talked to my lawyer um so that was like a whole nother month or two that we had had to wait um and then after that the da kept putting things off and putting things off they ended up adding a second felony charge of child abuse, um, corporal injury to a child. And when we had said something about it, we had said, okay, well, we told the police that this is what happened. This, we, we didn't hesitate. So it was like, I don't know, but they decided to say that a picture was, we were conspiring to commit child abuse because I didn't want to put my daughter in a short, uh, a long sleeve shirt in the summer. And I also didn't want people to get the wrong idea of this bruise. Um, Jonathan had caught her from falling and hitting her head on something and unfortunately had left a bruise. He felt really bad about it, you guys. And he had told his lawyer this. So both lawyers had fought really hard to get just that, you know, just completely off, you know, just to get it dropped. And, you know, we had been fighting for two years, or at this point it was like a year and a half, 
because now it's um so you know it just really sucked so we kept going kept going kept going the da kept putting things off we prepped for trial two times total and they were six months apart from each other just about six months apart from each other and it was just really ridiculous so they the da put all of their stuff in evidence we had that hearing that was their prep for trial um and we did that twice so it was just really ridiculous and at this point it was you know almost you know because we've been dealing this for over two years now um it's january of 2020 and emma was removed in november of 2017 so we're going on this this november will be three years um so you know the DA just kept putting things off, looking for more evidence because she knew she didn't have a case. And when the DA a few months ago had finally was like, okay, we'll drop the one charge completely and knock down the second charge to a misdemeanor, it had been almost two years. Um, so, you know, it was just like, why, why now? And I was willing to take the chance to go to trial, um, until my minor Jonathan's lawyer came back and was like, Hey, this other case, you know, he told us about this case. Unfortunately, he was not supposed to, um, but he was just letting us know that something had happened in this case where this woman got pulled over and gave them a random, just generated from her brain, just random driver's license number and was convicted of felony, I believe felony identity theft. And they, the jury had come back within an hour, I think it was. And after that, it was just like, we're not taking that chance with two felony charges that we could go to jail, go to prison for five years total. Because at this point, you know, we had our son and we were just not willing to take that chance. I still think a little bit that we could have won and gotten these charges completely dropped. Um, but I have to think about my kids um, Jonathan did the same. We just really were just like, you know, we didn't do anything, but we're not willing to take the chance of going to jail and losing our son as well and miss five years of his life. Um, and then the possibility of him not coming home after we would get out. So we were just not willing to risk that. Um, so we made the deal of one misdemeanor child abuse, uh, four years probation and a one year parenting class through um, this uh, company, I guess you could call it. It's not really a company because it's only based here in um, our hometown. Um, and they do a lot of different classes. And I have taken a managing emotions, a codependency class, and I love this place, I do, because they do a lot of great work. Um, but it sucks because we have to pay for this class. And, oh, excuse me. Um, it, it's not easy when you don't make a lot of money and the rent is high here. You know, we live in California. And this is one of the most expensive states in the country. Anybody who lives in California or Napa County knows this. Um, so, you know, it just sucks. And what sucks even more is after all of this, this is before the termination of rights on the family law side of it. And CPS didn't take this, any of this into account. None of it. They have been saying that I haven't been changing all of this other stuff that, you know, I'm just this rigid, cold person. Anybody who really knows me now knows that is not true, especially with my kids, especially 
with my kids. You know, I adore my kids. Um, and they're, they're still trying to terminate my rights. So, you know, it just really sucks. You know, this misdemeanor is going to be off of our record between five and seven years. But it's still on our record. Neither of us have been in trouble with the law ever. You know, Jonathan's gotten pulled over. He used to own this old Camaro and it was so loud. And, you know, the cops tried to kind of give him crap about it. And it just didn't, it, it didn't work. So, you know, we had never, neither of us have ever been arrested. Nothing on our record. Nothing. Nothing. Ever. Ever. And we just thought it was ridiculous. <clears throat> and so, you know, we've been obviously dealing with this for almost 20, November of this year of 2020 will be three years that we have been dealing with this. You guys, I think I've told you that I have an appeal in, um, after this is all finished, I will do a video of my appeal. I absolutely love the lawyer that I have now. He is such a compassionate lawyer, even though I have not met him face to face. We really only communicate through email. Um, and as far as I can see, he really is trying to make sure that it is guardianship and not adoption when it comes to Emma. So then that would mean for me and for Jonathan that we could take my parents to court and say, you know, we've done this, 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 and this. We want her to come home and say all of this stuff that was not said in all of the CPS stuff, the family law side, all of it when Jonathan has been doing everything that I have with the exception of the managing emotions because we just were not able to afford it you know we ugh, we can barely afford this stuff that we have now you know and it sucks if we were living in any other state we would be fine I will go into that maybe in another video if you guys want to see it but we just, we cannot afford California anymore. And it sucks because we have to stay here for at least another year. But it is what it is. Um, so, something I forgot to mention in the beginning is if you guys hear like a little music in the background, my son's sleeping. So he's, I have his uh, speaker on in the bedroom, in his room that he sleeps in at nap time. And then we have one in our room, the little, I can't think of the word. Anyway, um, so next week I am going to try and have my friend Cheyenne, I barked a little bit, so that was not a hesitation. I had a carbonated drink earlier, not good especially when it gives me like acid reflux and heartburn. It sucks. Anyway, um, next week I'm going to try and have my friend Cheyenne on here um, to tell her story. Um, it is different from mine. Um, so, you know, I'll be asking her different kinds of questions um, and whatnot. So, yeah, I am really excited about it. Um, so, stay tuned for that if you guys have any questions for me as far as more in-depth stuff comment those down below if you guys um, have any CPS content ideas <laughs> I'm running a little low on them so I have to sit and really brainstorm some ideas for you guys <clears throat> as far as CPS content because that's the main you know, reason I started this channel. Um, so, you know, yeah, I think that is about it. Um, if you guys, again, if you guys have ideas, comment them. If you guys like this, uh, 
the channel. If you guys like the channel, <laughs> make sure you subscribe. But if you like the video or the videos that I've been putting them up, hit that like button. Um, or that, I keep saying like button because I've been on Facebook a lot the last couple of days. Hit that thumbs up button. Um, and if you guys don't want to miss any more of my uh, videos, hit that little bell next to the subscribe button and you will get notifications. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys next week.